Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing this foundation. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Light Wonder. So I am going to give you a little info about it. So this is how this video is going to work. This is what we're going to do because I am, re I am refilming this video. The reason that I'm refilming this video is because I am so torn about this foundation. We all have expectations, different expectations of what we um, expect out of a foundation. And I have oily, dry combo skin. Yeah, I have a real temperamental skin issue going on because I have oily skin and I have dry skin because of my retin-A. So I have some dryness here, I have dryness here, and I actually have a little bit of dryness there today. It's just great, isn't it? So I have been enjoying my Chanel, but I always like to, number one, have options for me, and I wanna have options for you guys. So I'd like to try different things, test them out, see how they work, and then I can share my thoughts on how it worked for my skin, and maybe it will help you too. Just because something works for me doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you, and vice versa, okay? So I was interested in trying this. It's been around for a while. I've actually got a sample of this a couple of years ago and I didn't like it. But I thought this time, let's be fair. Let's not just try it once. Let's try it a little bit more and see what happens. So I filmed it and as I'm talking about this and, and a little bit more about, you know, the price and everything like that, I'm gonna insert a little bit of video of me applying it. You're gonna see my face close up because I want you to see what it looks like on my skin. So. Really quickly, when I was applying it in that video, I have no primer on. I usually don't wear primers. The only thing that I've been using, if I need to, is I will use the Bobbi Brown um, Vitamin Base, which I don't have in front of me. I will use that sometimes, but other than that, I don't use a primer. I did, however, not in the video, but on another day, I did use the uh, Sicily Primer. I don't have it but I had a sample of it still, so I had a little bit of my sample left and I tried, tried, you know, decided to use that with it and it didn't stay on any better for me. In the video, like I said, I'm not using, a, not wearing a primer. I applied it using my wet, um, my, I applied it using my damp beauty blender. That's how I pretty much, not pretty much, that's how I apply, well, not, I have to say pretty much because my Chanel, the water tint, I do have to use a brush with that, but the rest of my foundations, if you've been watching me, you know I always use a beauty blender. It just works better for me because I'm pushing it into my skin. It kind of masks some of the pores that I have, and then I'm not kicking up any of the flaky skin that I have from the Retin-A. So that's why I prefer to use a beauty blender or a makeup sponge. I have other sponges too, but in the video, I'm using a beauty blender. I also set this foundation and I used the oh no i did yes i did i also set the foundation using this powder in the video okay so that was a couple days ago and i've been really on the fence about this foundation because it looks really nice on now i've had this on for a little more than a half hour right now so you can see what it looks like it has an i have my mirror here so i can see it has a nice glow and i'm gonna zoom you in too before i do my second my other check check-in later but it has a really nice glow. I've been out, I've gotten compliments on it. Now I have not worn this for eight hours and gotten compliments, okay? So maybe I've had it on for three or four hours and then I have had compliments on it. And so I was even asking my daughter the other day when I filmed that video, what do you think about it? I'm so torn and she said she thought it looked really nice and natural. So I'm like, I've just been really, really wishy-washy about this because it's like, it's like I want to love it, you know what I mean? So I, I recorded that video, I did the check-in, and I was telling you guys, I love this, I love this. So then that night, before I went to bed, I was looking at my, my face, and I'm like, oh my God, it's so oily. Now, it doesn't matter what I use. I am gonna have, if I use a matte foundation, I'm gonna have oil, okay? It's not gonna be matte on my face but that, those can be drying for me. So it's really, foundations are really hard for me. They're really, really, really hard for me. And I am really picky. So I decided today I am gonna do it again. I, I'm not gonna do the whole trying it on because you've already seen me do that. It's the same thing. I don't think I zoomed in on the bottle, so I'm going to do that. 
That's another thing. This doesn't claim to be long wearing. And even when they do, they just don't wear long. I mean, that's how it is. But I, that's why I like to wear something light on my face because I just feel like as it wears, if it, it, not if it, when it gets oily, then I just don't want it to look gross. You know what I mean? That's why I like that Chanel Le Tint um, the water base uh, that I shared recently. That's why I love that because I feel like it does get, oh, my, my skin does get shiny, but it doesn't look gross like some foundations do. Chanel Lumiere Velvet, same thing. It's like as it wears, it doesn't get gross looking. That's my big thing. Like I don't want my dry patches accented. I don't want it to settle everywhere. I don't want it to look like I'm wearing gross makeup that's starting to get come off. You know what I mean? Wear off weird. So let me show you oh, really quickly because I didn't do that and then we'll, we'll I'll zoom you in. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm all over the place, but I don't script my videos. Okay. So this is, we get 10 shades, which they do not have a great selection for deeper skin tones, which they need to get better with that. I don't understand it. I usually don't have an issue because I'm always on the lightest side and I'm actually using one fair. That's the color that I'm wearing today. And this retails for $46 and it is 1.4 ounces. It says on here that it has innovative technology. It moisturizes your skin, evens out imperfections and lightweight formula. I don't know if it totally evens out everything because I felt like, well, I don't know. You tell me, you tell me what you think. Um, let me use this so I'm gonna put my glasses on again. It uh, has an S, this has a SPF of 15, protects your skin from damaging rays. So it has an SPF of 15, which is probably less than that. And remember, don't rely. I know I, keep, I sound like a robot, but I just want you guys to know, don't rely on this. Youth boosting additives help give your baby soft skin, help give your baby soft skin by reducing wrinkles, evening out complexion and smoothing your complexion. It says it has Pseudo, P-S-E-U-D-O, ceramicides to hydrate your skin up to 18 hours. It says ideal for dry, normal combination skin types that want sheer buildable coverage. I feel like this is probably going to, my final verdict on this is that it's going to be better for normal to dry skin and not so much the combo, but I am going to check in back in with you guys. So let me zoom in here. Okay, it doesn't look blurry. So now you can see what it looks like close up. Like I said, my skin is not perfect. Nope, out of focus. So it's shiny, but it's not great, you know, like gross or anything. So I will be back in a little while and we'll see where I stand with this. It's pouring, you probably can hear it on my camera. Okay, so we are at five hours later, okay? And I came over here, I don't have my mirror in front of me, but I know just from looking at it, and by the way, I just have my glasses on, so you see my mark there? I really want to love this, but I just don't think it's working out for my skin type. What I am noticing when I was looking at my skin is I'm seeing it break up a little bit in here and I'm gonna get close and hopefully, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on because I gotta make sure that you can see what I see. Okay, hopefully it's focusing to see that. See how it looks like all just doesn't look very nice. You know what I mean? I just don't think it looks nice on my skin. And here you can see over here. But it looks really, I feel like it looks even shinier in person than it does here on video. Like when I'm looking in my mirror, I feel like it looks even shinier. My focus there. So, Let's go over there. Now that you've seen it, you can see what my face looks like. See my skin, what it looks like. I'm gonna swing around that way and we'll talk, okay? Oh boy, see I look over here and I look even shinier than I did over there. I feel like I do. Let me turn my light down over here so you can even see better in this light. I can't adjust it on my camera right now because I'm having issues with my camera. But see, even in this light, you see how it's extra, extra. I have not blotted. I haven't done anything with my skin at all. So like I said, this is five hours later and this is what it looks like. And I feel like I really wanted to like this. I really do, but I just don't think it's for my skin type. I do not think it's for, 
I don't think it's for combination skin. It's not first combination oily dry. So I don't know what other combination normal dry combination. Is that what they meant? <laughs> because I have tried this so many different ways because I really wanted to love this. But if you have oily skin, if you have oily dry skin, I would say no. It, it's very, very shiny. It's too shiny. It's too, too much. You know what I mean? And I feel like even in here, I just feel like it makes my skin look textured. I feel like it's highlighting all of the bad stuff that I don't like in my skin. <laughs> so I'm going to blot myself off. The thing I want to share with really, really quickly before I end this video is when you are purchasing a foundation, okay, we all have different expectations on what we think will work for us. Like I don't want it, I don't want to look like a total grease ball. I don't want it to crack when I'm smiling. I don't want it to look splotchy throughout the day. That's what I expect from a foundation. And I should not, if, if something says it's supposed to work on normal to dry skin to combo skin, then it should work on that. And I should not have to go out and try different primers and do different things to use it unless it specifically says you should use this primer with it to extend it or whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? And I think that so many people, I see so many people review foundations and it's like they test it with different primers but I mean for the for the regular consumer like you are you really going to do that are you going to go out like if you bought this are you going to be like okay I guess I have to find a primer to go with it no if it doesn't work out you're going to send it back and I know there's some people that can't do that they live in areas where they have to make sure that they really love it or they're not going to buy it and if that's how it is where you are then I would get a sample get a sample and test it on your skin before you buy it because you should not have to go out and look for different primers. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with primers, but I'm just saying that if you buy a foundation and it's not working for you, you shouldn't have to go out and buy a bunch of different primers see if it's gonna work. That's what I'm saying. If you have primers at home, you can try it, but you shouldn't go and buy primers. Let me know also, have you tried this? Did it work out for your skin type? Let me know. Before you leave, please make sure you click that button below and hit the subscribe button. I show new videos every single week and I don't want you to miss out. Make sure you click that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram as well. And that is it, my friends. I will see you all in my next video.